Yes, to his hometown and his alma mater. Life is coming to Jeff Brom pretty fast. Earlier today, I sat down with Louisville's new head football coach as we talked about the task ahead, getting fired in the rivalry with Kentucky. It's day one on the job for Jeff Brom at the Howard Snellenberger Complex. It was exciting and, um, you know, it's something that, you know, I didn't know if would ever happen. Uh, and also now I'm leaving someplace I, I, I loved and, and grew to love and love the people, but going back home to something that, uh, you know, I really love. Taking over a program now has changed. Navigating the waters, not just of recruiting, but the transfer portal and NIL. Because I feel like you could maybe want to get into a fetal position. It seems like a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know if I've taken a shower in a couple of days, so if I look bad, you know, don't worry about that. Every time you take over a program, the first part uh, is a lot of work, and there's a lot of things to do. Now with early signing day, with the portal, with NIL, yes, there's even more things to do with the current roster. Um, so, yeah, you just got to, you know, put your feet in the ground. Things haven't always gone the way that he wanted at Louisville. Brom was fired back in 2009 when he was an assistant under Steve Cragthorpe. Did you ever have animosity about this place? Well, like anything, you're always disappointed when things don't go the way you want. Um, and, you know, that's part of it. It's a learning process. Of course, uh, everybody makes mistakes. I have. So I've learned along the way that in the end, this, this team has to represent me and what I'm about, uh, you know, feel my personality and, and my demeanor and my intensity to want to win. Brahm isn't shy about crediting his two mentors for shaping who he is as a football coach. Howard Schnellenberger at Louisville and Dennis Lampley at Trinity. Dennis Lampley, uh, you know, his best quality is he loved his players. And his players knew he loved them and he cared and he expressed that. And because of that, his guys played hard for him. Uh, with Coach Schnellenberger, I think the number one quality he had, he had is he was able to get his players to believe how good they really could be. And he was not scared to tell the whole world what was about ready to happen, saying the collision course with the national championship. So for whatever reason, when our team took the field, we believed we could beat anybody. At Purdue, Brom was 4-1 and one against Indiana in their rivalry game. And he knows how much the battle for the Governor's Cup means to Louisville fans who have lost four straight. We res respect the school up, 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 up the street. Uh, Kentucky, they do a great job. They've had a lot of success. But we've got to find a way to win the football game. And it's going to start on our home field uh, this next year. And we better be able to you know, piece some things together as the season goes on so that by the last football game we're playing our best and uh, we find a way to win to make these fans happy. Now, when it comes to recruiting and the transfer portal, NIL, Brom says it's all about relationships. He has been working hard over these last 24 to 48 hours Already. to start building those relationships. All right. Thank you very much, Ken.